Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G51 and today I'll show you how you can enable and set up your portable hotspot. Now to get started, you'll want to pull down your notification panel and look for the hotspot settings, which for me it's right here. Now this is the default location of all the toggles, so if you haven't changed your toggle location, uh, it should be in the same place. Once you locate it, the first time around, uh, if you're doing this, which assuming you're watching this video probably are, you do want to hold the toggle. This will quickly take you to the settings where you can customize it. So in here, tap on Wi-Fi hotspot. And I recommend you to start off with the hotspot password, which as you can see by default is some randomly generated one. We can remove this one and set our own. Now the new password needs to have at least eight characters in length. So it can be letters, numbers, it doesn't really matter. Here we go. And now we can tap on OK. Now additionally, we have options also for changing the hotspot name right over here. So by tapping on it, you can change how the Wi-Fi that the hotspot will create uh, will be named. Uh, Default-wise, it's always the name of the device. So for me, it's or for this device, obviously, it's Moto G uh, 51. You can shorten it if you want to, as an example, or you can completely change it to something entirely different. It's up to you what you want to call it. And we have a couple additional options under advanced right here. So going quickly into those, hide my device, we'll just hide the hotspot and I don't recommend doing it. Uh, it will require you to go into the Wi-Fi list. As an example, I'm gonna show it on my device. So if we go into Wi-Fi, we enable it. By scrolling down, you have the option add network. And once you tap on it, you need to first add the network name, which it will be the name right here. And then also the password for it. You cannot find it in the list of like where you would normally see them. So if you go back, normally you see your hotspot right here, but it will be completely removed with this option from the list. So you will need to add it manually. That's why I don't recommend doing it. Now below that, we have the AP band. So we have a choice between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Now we can only choose one or the other. There is no option to have both. So if you're not sure what this is, uh, just a brief explanation. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi will be used by basically every device, uh, every smart device that has Wi-Fi connectivity. And 5 gigahertz is an improved version of it. It goes faster and is more stable, but not every device will support it. Newer devices will, older devices might not. So if you're unaware what your device supports, uh, the easiest way to figure it out is to enable the 5 gigahertz look for the wi-fi if your device just doesn't see it that means that it doesn't support it and in that case you can just go back here drop it back to 2.4 and it should just work fine and from here we have manage devices so this will allow you to manage all the devices that are connected to your hotspot you can boot them out of your hotspot if you don't want them if someone managed to guess your password you can just completely uh, remove them from it and we have timeout setting. This is probably one of the more useful settings in here as well. Uh, this uh, determines how long the hotspot will run while not being used. Now, the reason why I consider this to be important is because I personally forget to turn off my hotspot when I'm using it. And hotspot does consume more of your battery. And in addition to that, some of the hotspots, I don't know if that's the case right here, do turn off Wi-Fi to spread the signal through the same antennas that you'd normally use for Wi-Fi. So you'd only be locked into your mobile network when hotspot is running. And when someone isn't using it for provided amount of time, a hotspot will automatically turn off and everything will go back to functioning normally. So as an example, I'm gonna stick with the 10 minutes and let's enable it. So Wi-Fi wi right now is turned off if I, yep, so on here it does use Wi-Fi to broadcast the hotspot and because of that as you see once you enable your hotspot it uses mobile network so not only the people that connect to your hotspot will use your mobile network but you will as well even though for instance you're at home and you have access to your uh, Wi-Fi network but because it's connecting or it's distributing the hotspot to your Wi-Fi antennas it needs those for hotspot instead of your Wi-Fi. But like I mentioned, after it turns off, it automatically re-enables Wi-Fi. 
So anyway, as you see, that is basically how you would set it up and enable or disable it. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.